Um, Dr. Jan will be given the children's story, and if you uh, would like to get out your dollars for the education fund that the kids can collect on their way up, that would be great. I've already given her mine, yeah. How are you? Good. They're going to sit there. If I could have two strong men come up here, please, I'm going to have you tie me up with this rope. Would you like to please come and help? I need one more person. Come and tie me up with this rope. What's going to happen here? is I'm going to have these two people, I'm going to give them five minutes to tie me up. And then that way, what I will do, they're going to turn me around so you can see I am tied up. Then they'll sit down, and then that way I'll try and get out in five minutes also. So hopefully you're in the military. Now, I do need one person to time. And boys and girls, I want you to know, in the Bible it says we can do all things through Christ whom strengthens us. He didn't say one, two, or three. He said all things. So I'm going to let these two gentlemen tie me up. They have five minutes. Who is timing? Who could time? Okay. If they tie me up in less than five minutes, I'll try to get out in less than five minutes. Just to, the only knot you can't use is the Vietnamese knot that goes around the neck. You can do what you can tie me up any way you want. Okay, arms are behind my back. Okay, ooh, okay. Now, our nation, the United States of America, the greatest nation in the world, was built upon a dream. Jim told me to have the camera on. Here, here too, Brian. Upon a dream, the dream of freedom for all people, the pursuit of happiness for all people, and a nation that serves all people. Through sheer patience, persistence, and courage, our forefathers were able to make their dream a reality. And that's why people to this day still flock to come to this country. They want to be here because there's freedom of religion, but however, we've allowed ourselves to be tied up. Tied up with violence in the schools, violence in the streets, violence in the homes. Tied up to the point of where we've been talked into reducing our military bases. And that is why now terrorists can attack us here. So whatever problem you're going through, whether it be in the country, my earpiece just fell off. If you could put it back in my ear, that would be nice. Or maybe you can still hear me. So let me know how much time. When you're through tying me up, let me know. And I will try to get out in the amount of time they tied me up in. So, whatever you're going through, we must learn to untie ourselves from whatever has been going on in our life. And that includes our country, too. Okay, you can turn, when you're through, let me know, turn me around so the people, when the five minutes is up, let them know though. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I don't know, I don't know. But we've allowed ourselves to be tied up with all those things. See, Jesus is coming soon. He's coming back very soon, very soon, and he wants us untied. He wants us untied. Now, whether I can do this or not, I don't know, but turn me around so you can see. Okay. Our nation, an American Renaissance is in the making. Did you start timing yet? I will. Okay. An American Renaissance is in the making. Artists and craftspeople are preparing for our rebirth, a rebirth so that way we will end up in peace.
for patience and persistence, E for effort, A for action, C for courage, and E for a proper education so we'll never have a lost generation of youth again. Please, every minute goes by, let me know so I can try and get out. <laughs> so I can try. Okay, how much time has it been? Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. You see, God has a different plan for each and every one of us. And we've got to learn to listen to what he's telling us. We've got to learn to listen. You see, he knows when the conditions are not right, he says no. When the time is not right, he says slow. When you're not right, he says grow. It's time to become the best person, the best way you can be so that God can use us because he is coming back soon. He has a plan for us. That's right. He is a person. He died for us. He wants us to untie ourselves from what we're going through. How much time? <laughs> Pardon me? It's been a minute and 30 seconds. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, this was harder than I thought. <laughs> okay. But he does want us to untie ourselves. You see, he has a definite plan for us, for each and every one of us. And it's up to us to do and condition ourselves so we can know how to escape because he wants us to go to heaven with him. He wants us to untie ourselves and become the best that we are capable of becoming. He wants us to stand up. He wants us to serve Him. And when we have ourselves fully, 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 fully untied, then we can serve the Lord the way we were meant to be in the first place. God loves you. Have a happy Sabbath. Love you all. <laughs>